and um, welcome back to our channel. How are you? Have you had a good bank holiday half term? Um, we have. We have been certainly busy. As you can see, we're accompanied by Stella yet again. Not San Miguel this time, that's coming later. Oh, oh, do you know, that's another story which I'll tell you about later. Now you have to excuse us, we did try and film this outside, but unfortunately the wind has just picked up yet again and uh, we've had to come in. So we would have given you a lovely view of the campsite, which you've seen many times before. Yes, it's a bit misty today for some reason. We've got a little bit of a treat for you, haven't we? Yeah, we did a bit of touring around the site during the bank holiday. And it was nice and sunny, wasn't it? But, what do you mean, was it? Well, we were so busy working, you didn't notice. I can't remember. Yeah, what we did, we went round the um, campsite, We and we'll put it all to music for you. We'll show you the double-deck um, bus that we have that comes here, uh, the Gower Pizza Dough Company. Al dings his dong round the site between 9 and 10, wakes all the kids up, and they all come running out for ice cream. It really is a fabulous fabulous atmosphere and I hope we try and catch it for you. Busy week um, and we found how respectful the campers are here. The toilets were not trash, it was the just noise levels pleasure. were down. A pleasure to work here. So what's it like living on a campsite all summer? It's absolutely brilliant and it really doesn't change how we feel about caravanning. Um, weekend caravanning is absolutely fabulous and it gets even better when you can do it all the time. The garden around you gets mowed, you have different neighbours every week, and you look out the view, and if you want a different view, you can just move somewhere else. Not that we do, but it's, it's and we get to work in some amazing parts of the country, but this is where we're gonna be staying, if they can put up. Yeah, they can put up with us for a while. We absolutely love it, and it really, is easy to live in your caravan all year and we've done vlogs where we say about how's the caravan bearing up with full-time living because as you know they're not designed for continuous use ours is okay it's okay it's a bit raggy around the edges but it does for us um we have no intention of upgrading at all i mean you know some people have said well the money that you use to go away for the winter you could buy a new van well, obviously not a brand new van. I'd never buy a brand new van. But we don't want to, do we? No, this we're fine. This holds so many memories for us. It does. It? It, it does a job for us. It's everything we want. Um, it's working. Yes, okay. Though a little. Look, some of the latches on the cupboards are broken. Mark did try to fix it, but apparently I've lost the spring. The spring fell out of the back of the latch, yeah. Uh, there's little things. Um, unfortunately, the awning fell down, so we have a few little pole dents where the uh, poles came out of the awning on that um, hurricane that we've had. Two hurricanes now. Um, so, you know, I mean, our caravan is... How old is it? 11 years old? 2011, so he's uh, 10 years old. But there's nothing major, and anything major... Mark can fix it. Yes, he can. Yes, I try. I'm in, I'm in the middle of fixing the car at the moment because we've had a bit of problems with that. So we cannot go anywhere at the moment because our car has decided to break. Um, so that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? We are stranded. And the thing is with Clangeneth, it's a little bit in the middle of nowhere. So you can't just walk to a shop. You've got to drive. Um, but it's not a problem. We did an on dark line delivery yeah. too because the first one forgot his beer. So we have another one coming today with three cases of beer. Just in case. What do you mean just in case? <laughs> it's going to last you for a month. Yes, okay. As far as living in a campsite, it's absolutely brilliant. It doesn't change anything about how you feel. Does it become not as exciting? Absolutely not. No. It's easy. We we do everything we do normally, don't we, in a house? The only issue is, obviously, when the weather's bad, you get to hear every little thing. But it's quite nice to fall asleep to rain, isn't it? It's, it's alright with rain, but wind I don't like because of the awning. Yeah, it's a bit stressful. Um, anyway, we're going to take you on a magical mystery tour and come and meet some of the people that we deal with through the summer. Would we change anything we do? No. Would we go back to working 12 months a year? No. And would we ever want to leave this campsite? No. No, we'll be here until we literally can't go on anymore. Only if they want us. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, is that the one that went on holiday and still there 26 years later? <laughs> Mark.
enjoyed our little you. tour of where we live and work on a campsite and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. <laughs>